survival of the Paipira Tapu, which, uh, which came really by Samuel Marzen in 1814, was really important because from the perspective of, of our people of Ngāti Tolehina, that really marked the second uh, significant intervention of our Lord. The first intervention occurred amongst our people some 500 years ago. They landed on a beach, the beach that is affectionately known as Marzen's Cross. But to our tūpuna when they arrived, they called that beach Hōhi. They named it Hōhi by inspiration of God. Hō meaning to shout and he meaning risen. For the Lord said, from this beach a shout will be made. And this is the shout, he the Son of God is risen. But when my tūpuna arrived, they they went to the top of that maunga that we, we call Mataka. And our call it all goes that while they, while they worshipped and blessed the Lord, one whose, whose face, whose body was like lightning appeared. And he spoke to them concerning the kingdom of God. And the things they heard, they hid in their heart and they wrote it into the land. No mai, na. Uh, that's our Pārangi Hoa. Our people lived here under the blessing of God when they arrived. The heavens were opened. But as time progressed, our people began to drift and depart from the God they originally knew and walked with. And so in the years leading up to, to Samuel Marsden, our tūpuna, the priest, our tohunga, while on top of Mataka, sought the Lord. Eventually he would come and he would stand amongst his people, our people, Ngāti Tolehina, and he would recite these words. Whakaurongo, whakaurongo, whakaurongo ki te hautau wa e pupuhima i nei nō te tai nō te uru, te kina ati taku i kaki wa hote mo anā ki wa e takoto ma i nei. He gorongo nā ke tai ki tō hui, ko tai mai au ki tō hui, he ki ki tāna ko te ko te poha ke ki ki tonu mai te whaka pono ke au ka tau e hoki runga hohi e. Ora ka nuku nuku ka neke neke, ka nuku nuku ka neke neke. Ti tino ki ngā tai o toko e rau e hora nei ki tua, me he pipi hora uroa takoto te pae, takoto te pae. Behold, he said, while in prayer, behold, I perceived a wind a wind of change, a new wind beginning to blow across our lands. For I heard the cicada representing, if you like, the loud and constant drone of rebellion and unbelief. Then I heard the sound of the koti koti pa, the rifleman, the tiniest bird in our land. And it was singing, saying, whakapono, faith, faith, faith. Faith is the key to unlock Langi Hoa at the top of Hohi. Faith. Ka nuku nuku ka neke neke. We must shift, we must make room. The things in our heart that don't belong there must go. We must make room in our heart. For as I looked over the waters of, of the Tai Tokero, I saw the pipi whaurua and I understood the parable. I understood what God was saying. For as the pipi followed or lays an egg and another cares for it to bring it to its maturity. Even so, there is one bearing a seed that we must receive into our heart. Receive into our heart and bring it to its fullness that we might know how to stand properly on this land. What Samuel Marzen was bringing was significant. He was bringing a key to unlock again the gates to the kingdom of our God. The hearts of Ngāti Tolihino, of my tūpuna, were prepared to receive something. And that preparation, that word to open their heart to receive what was coming, didn't come from European. It came from our tūpuna, who was inspired of God, to share this word among the people. We're standing here on this whenua, the whole of the area, the whole of the lands, if you like, of the kingdom of Ngāti Tolihino, is called Mataroa. Mata being meaning I and raw meaning long for God alone is the only one who can see 
all the way to the horizon and beyond. Declaring the end at the beginning. Sometimes we need to go back to the beginning. Why? Because at the beginning, that's where God declared what he would do, the end.